Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. This week has been extremely rainy and gloomy thunderstorms pretty much every morning. Today is Wednesday my time, so I am doing Q&A day today. I also got some things in the mail, including my potential birthday dress. So I thought we could start off unboxing that, trying that on. I got a couple of other packages too that we could open together. So let's get this day started. Okay, here's the dress. I think it's so cute. It fits like a glove. It's Agua Bendita. Like I said, I found it on sale. I'll post a little unboxing on my TikTok. I tried to FaceTime my mom to tell her this story, but I just told Grandin. I'll tell you too. <laughs> but I used to have an uncle. We called him an uncle. He wasn't actually related to us, but he was a good family friend. And he made wedding dresses pageant dresses was a very skilled dress clothing maker and he made me we called it my mary mary quite contrary dress because i think i was like in kindergarten and there was a nursery rhymes parade and i was mary mary quite contrary how does your garden grow and anyway it was this dress that fit me like a glove it looked just like this, the similar waistline. It came up a little bit and had pink buttons. I'll try to see if my mom has a picture of it to send me to include, but when I felt this dress and took it out of the box and zipped it up, it feels just like how I remember that dress feeling and fitting on me, which is just really sweet, a sweet like throwback. My mom still has the dress, obviously. I I wore that dress until it would fit no longer. It was just my favorite. It had a big full skirt. It was like just a perfect little fit and flare dress in this bright pink floral fabric. Sweet memories and it's just funny like that this dress just threw me back to that dress. And anyway, I think, you know, the thing about me in clothing is like, I just really have a bond <laughs> to it. Like I just really feel connected to certain pieces and things. And so anyway, I just, sweet little story time about this dress. But uh, if my mom, I tried to FaceTime her. I'm a, if she FaceTimes me back, I'm just keep this dress on because I wanted to show her. Then I'm gonna box it back up and put a ribbon on it so I can open it on my birthday, which is on June 28th. So anyway, I'm glad it fits. And I think the length is great. I'm wearing an extra small and I'm 5'4 for reference. I'll link it if it's still available. I think it is available at different places. This silhouette I think is like a go-to for Aqua Bendita, but they make a bunch of different prints and stuff. But this was the one that I always, loved so yay okay next is this package this is actually for a brand deal with contemporary cottage i'm not sure when it's going live but this is an exclusive sneak peek i can't ever remember what i like ordered so it is always a surprise but i love this boutique because they're well, first of all, their shipping is extremely fast and they offer really speedy returns and exchanges and their things are really cute, extremely affordable, and um, I just love all of the items that they have. Okay, the first step is the silky blue top. This would be cute for like a little workwear top with like white uh, jeans would be really cute or slacks or something. Love that. Okay, cute. This is like a white midi dress. Really pretty and simple and chic. I actually love this. I mean, I love all of these, but this is such a great summer staple. I love the feeling of this material. Okay, precious. Okay, loving this print. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love this. And it comes with a belt that I need to unwrap. I think that is darling, would be so cute for a baby shower or a bridal shower. Precious. Okay, and another super fun summer maxi dress. Love these colors. Um, none of these items are live. They have, last time, uh, the last reel I shared with them, a lot of the items sold out really quickly. Like all of their items sell out extremely quickly. They're always posting new arrivals, so definitely check them out on Instagram. Stop. What, what do you want, honey? Um, but they actually aren't gonna post these items until I post my reel, so everyone will have a chance to purchase um, when I share my reel. So I know you all are probably following me on Instagram, but that's where it will be going live. Um, again, not sure on the date of that, but sometime in June. Hi, okay, we just booked a 
appointment as opposed to go to our Equinox, the gym, really quickly. We like our gym fine. Grant was went to Equinox when we um, lived in Boston and really loved it. And anyway, we just like are gonna go check it out, see what it's about. Um, so yeah, we're headed to that right now. Hi, okay, back home. I ate lunch. I was so hungry when we were out and about. Um, but we took a look. We ended up going to two gyms to take a look. And ultimately, I, I don't think we're gonna end up going with either of them. They were just really expensive, which like we knew they were gonna be expensive, but like they're a little bit further away. And the pros weren't that amazing to like convince us to switch, so. Anyway, always good to see and like just see what's out there, see the options or whatever. But um, I've been working at my desk and I'm just like kind of have hit a wall. I'm really frustrated right now for my birthday. I just really want to get these intaglio, uh, this intaglio artwork done. I know I talked about it in a couple of my past videos, but like I found these frames from Home Goods and they were a steal, 12 bucks each. This, I don't even need that. Um, and then I ordered, I went to Michael's, I got this paper. I ordered mats for these to make it like smaller. And then here are the intaglios that I got from Etsy. But the thing is, is they're too thick to fit in the frame. And so I think I need new frames, but I don't even know what kind of new frame to search for. So I might wait till I get the mats in make the whole artwork and like take it to Michael's and see if I can do like a custom frame and get it to fit. So anyway, I'm dealing with that. I've been doing my Q and A, just got my month runway order in, about to steam some clothes and just keep working for the day. Okay, now I'm downstairs. I'm going to wrap up my dress that I tried on and that other little package just so I have something to open. Like I know I'm gonna get gifts and like, you know, when you get older, it's usually just like money and stuff, which is greatly appreciated. Um, do not get me wrong. We love receiving a good gift card or check or something like that. But um, I also just wanna, I wanna use this wrapping paper that I have and I wanna wear the dress on my birthday. So I'm gonna wrap it up and make it look all cute. Birthday package is all wrapped. Did I already say this wrapping paper is Dogwood Hill? Anyway, it is. I know it's not like, perfect but it will work also got some laundry done and I'm gonna crank out some more work before i have to take mr Ramy on her nightly walk so the mats for my intaglio project came in um i will link everything that i can find the paper that i got i found at michael's the mats i got off of amazon and then of course the frames are from home goods and i kind of just rigged it this is my trial run everything's just loosely taped but I need to um, like readjust and glue it down, but I just wanted to see if it would like work in the frame. And I think it works. What I ended up doing is I took some of this squishy that the Integrigos came in and I cut it up so it could go into the four corners so it wasn't as smushed up, like gonna break the glass. I think this is really cute. So let me do the others and kind of readjust. And yay, I'm so excited. Just changed for my walk, but let me show you the final product. I love them. I think they are so cute. It really brings the room together. And I know I've said this a million times, but I, I understand that this frame is not the same gold, but it was all that they had. And they were 12 bucks. <laughs> and so I think I might get like some gold paint and I can paint it and it'll be perfect. But honestly, it really doesn't bother me that much. But yeah, I calculated it all up and it was like $106 to do that, as opposed to the Ballard Designs charging for like $300 a piece for one. So I'd say it's a pretty good DIY, but yeah, we are about to head on our walk. <laughs> ok 
Good girl. Hello. Okay, we are back home. I showered. It is so hot outside. Since it's been raining so much, it's especially humid out. Feels like I'm back in Mississippi. But I have showered. I'm in my new like pajama set that I love. I've got my clip because I'm gonna clip my hair up when I start making dinner. Grant came downstairs and told me, he's like, oh man, our room is just so cozy and homey. And he says this because he knows those are my favorite words to hear in the whole wide world. Like I love nothing more than creating a cozy space when people tell me, oh my gosh, your home is so cozy. I just like, my heart sings. So he is just doing the best. Today he is just the best ever. I mean, he always is, but he's just amazing. Here we are, admiring it again. I could just sit in here and just look at this. I just love it. I just love it so much. I love the blues. I love just everything. At peace with this room now. Also, I've been telling Grant this, but I am going through a rebrand just like on my own, nothing official, <laughs> on TikTok. Only TikTok at the moment. I would love to do a full rebrand on my website and things like that. But I was looking at my TikTok profile the other day and I was like, I just like, this isn't me anymore. This doesn't feel like me anymore. This just seems like loud and crazy, which I guess is just like, you know, it's just TikTok in general. I just feel like TikTok itself is loud and crazy. But um, I have switched gears. Go take a look. I'll have it linked in the description. But we are all about calm vibes. Still like the same old, same old, but I'm trying to get back to A, just posting more on TikTok. I used to be really good about posting on TikTok and then I've kind of fallen off the bandwagon. So I'm posting original content to TikTok now and it's just like more, feels more me, if that makes sense. So someone on my Q&A today asked me what my style is and like wouldn't i like to know what my style is but i feel like it's you know always changing and always evolving and that's a good thing and so i'm making this change on tiktok and it's nothing drastic i showed grant he couldn't even tell the difference but anyway i feel like good about that feeling at peace today so now i'm gonna start making dinner. 